Hello and welcome back to another episode of Witcher 3, Blood and Wine with Early Game Gear. We're playing on Deathmarsh difficulty with the Viper Sword and the Warrior's Leather Jacket that we picked up in White Orchard very early in the game. We are helping this vineyard here uh, solve their problems. There's one more problem to be solved. It's up this way. And in that last, in the last episode, we found a letter uh, that was in this destroyed camp with a bunch of Arcaspores around, and it showed that someone was sabotaging, sabotaging this vineyard. Now, what is this trading post? This isn't where the problem is, but it's on the way. And the uh, problem is up to the northeast, kind of. But this is something. Camp's abandoned, but a lot of this damage is recent. Yes, I arrived just a little too late. Should look around still. Not sure what it is. Uh, last episode, I found a bandit camp on this vineyard too that was not marked as being like a problem, and it was. It turned out it had to do. It was like a guarded or hidden treasure. What is this? Oh yeah, the White Terror. I saw another one of those posters uh, a little while back. What is this? Man, bled to death. Big beast inflicted these wounds. Clear from the claw marks. Must have a toothy smile, too, judging by what ripped his throat open. Hmm. I wonder if I stumbled across, like, a. Uh, if this is like a... Witcher contract that I hadn't like that I picked up but I hadn't like uh, I hadn't started yet. But while we're here, we might as well loot everything. Um, I probably won't do this contract while I'm here unless I have no choice. I'd rather just move on and uh, fix the problems that's going on with this vineyard, so I can get on to the other vineyard and start fixing their problems. I definitely want to fix the problems at both vineyards. Oop, more clues. Scale. Colors unusual. Silver? Never seen one like this. Hmm. Silver scale, you say? Blood of the fresh variety. Monster attack was recent. Signs of a fight. Paw prints, beastly ones, that's clear. Just on this spot, though. Hmm. Aerial attack. Must have been. Draconid. Draconid. Gotta be. Maybe a basilisk? Except these prints don't belong to any variety I know. Hmm. Just a little different. Nope. Now what's going on? Cutscene. So who's this? Area's dangerous. I'd say there's a basilisk nesting around here. You'd be wise to remain at some distance. Yes, I'm familiar with the matter. And quite proud to say a basilisk does nest here. I look after it personally. Look after it? It's not exactly a pet. Beasts murdering folk who come through here. Just a minute. It does not murder those who do not trespass upon its territory. You post those warnings? Indeed. To prevent anyone from coming to any harm. Well, a lot of good they did. Got a freshly mangled corpse right here. Most likely a merchant, the poor bloke. Just today, I learned two traders had chosen this route despite the signs. I came as quick as I could to warn them. Too late, alas. I've instructed my servants. They shall take the body, return it to the family with a generous sum as recompense. All right, this is, sounds like it's going to be a real shit show. Talk to me. Hmm. Pay the victim's family's compensation? Why? These lands have been my family's for decades, granted to us by Duchess Ademarta. Beyond them, the basilisk ventures not, hunts not, it does not kill or destroy. Provided it is not provoked. Yet if it does destroy, if it kills, I compensate all for the loss from my own coffers. Hmm. Your coffers. Got a store of sons and husbands in there to compensate for those shredded by your beast? Naturally, I cannot revive the dead. But I do make generous restitution to their loved ones. Just last summer, I paid a leather tooler's widow 800 crones. 
this unfortunate merchant's family to be duly indemnified as well. Who exactly are you? And how do you develop such an interest in the beast? Count Borges, happy to be of service. As to the beast, well, this subspecies is our dynastic symbol. The Desalfareses have for centuries signed with the Regulus Platinum. As family legend has it, a female of the species rescued an ancestor, a boy at the time, from a burning building. She took the tyke back to her nest, where she fed him as if he were one of her own youngsters. Malarkey. To be sure, but beautiful malarkey it is. Claim this to be the last surviving basilisk? How do you figure? The last of this subspecies. Their population was much larger at one time, see? Before the beech forests were felled. Mean to suggest a direct correlation between beechwood forest density and basilisk populations? Indirect, I'd prefer to contend. Beechwood forests are the chief habitat of roe deer, you see. In turn, a staple of the basilisk diet. When roe deer grew scarce, Basilisks made humans their staple food. Enter the Witchers. And thus, we've come to this one last specimen. It's a female. As recently as last year, we still had two. But Yocast's mate passed on, alas. Yocast? Should she not have a name? My father dubbed her in honor of my dear departed mother. Yocast was brooding then. Two eggs that she cast from her nest, alas, when the male perished. Hmm, well I'm not so sure I'm gonna kill this basilisk, but it might be fun to Where's see what it looks like. nesting? Any idea? Of course I have an idea. But you don't really expect me to tell you. Those are not toy swords. I know your intentions. Find it myself then. Easy to track with its distinct paw prints. Mentioned two merchants. So I might also look for the other corpse. Silver Basilisk. Alright, well let's definitely look all around the rest of this area. It looks like there's a lot of loot. Oh yes. There's going to be a lot of looting going on. I think I saw another clue right here. Strange. These burn marks. Beast venom make them. Subspecies must be highly toxic. It is so indeed. A wound from a sterling Basilisk festers long. Need to brew a potion that'll neutralize that. Golden Ori will probably work. I like the way he gave a little extra information after I, uh... Basilisk scales are usually thicker, not nearly so fine. Could be more sensitive to fire, this one. Alas, it is true. Your cast has a terrible fear of fire. She's a highly sensitive creature. Rid your mind of any thought to kill her. You would destroy the last of a species. Yeah... Yeah, I'm probably not going to kill her unless I have to. I would like to see her, though. Silver Basilisk. I was hoping I could read these other... Look at these other old clues that I first discovered before he showed up and he would give me some more insight, but I can't interact with him anymore. But here's some more clues over here. And a ton of loot. Strange. Oh, this is something I already saw. Beast venom make them. Subspecies must be highly toxic. Strange. The same These thing. Marks. There's some more clues These over here, though. Subspecies must be highly toxic. Looks like I got all the loot. Busted barrels. Content spilled all over. Must have been tannin in there. Used to treat leather. Beast smashed the barrels. That's how the scent got on the scale. Yo Coco is so very curious. Strong scents especially intrigue her. The barrels, they must have drawn her in. Drawn her to the caravan. Busted barrels slimed with venom. Hallmarks of an attack. Basilisk must have caught the second victim here. Anyway, got two scents. Venom and tannin. Ought to be enough to track the beast. Why track her at all? Your cast is protected. Her death would forever destabilize the ecosystem. Who knows what would happen? I see unforeseeable consequences down the line. Simply refrain from provoking her. 
Harm her not, and she too will leave you untouched. I've long suspected they do it on purpose. Sent their goods. They seek to lure the Basilisk to destroy their wares. It allows them to demand compensation from their assurers. Hmm. I guess maybe they could be doing it on purpose, but I doubt it. I think the Basilisk is probably just killing them because they're getting close. And they don't have a limitless amount of employees they can keep sending. It sounds like he's he's paying the actual people, not like some some corporation or whatnot, so. Alright, uh, there's a scent we can follow. So I feel like maybe I should see this through, because otherwise it looks like he's going to follow me. So I'm just going to see this through, and uh, hopefully it's not too far. And we can shake him up. We can get, get him off our tail. Alright, so the scent goes this way. So let's follow the scent for a while and see where it goes. Odors dispersed. Seems to be everywhere. Basilisk must be high in the sky. Blood stains. Clear as day. Okay, so maybe we're getting close to that second merchant that was mentioned earlier. There is a lot of blood here. Blood, blood. Sense perceptible again. Oh, now we get the scent again. Uh, I don't see it though. Oh wait. Is that it? Or was that the sun? Uh, sometimes it's hard. The scent is hard to see here in Tucson because it's so bright and everything's so bright and washed out. Um. Oh, what's this? More blood. Oh, there's a scent. Okay. Oh, here's a body. Just as I expected. Second victim, but relatively unscathed. Basilisk must have been dragging him back to its nest for later. Dropped him for some reason. Wonder why. Uh, and this guy's got a Cooper's Guild contract that we can check out. Dear Gaston, in reply to your question regarding the planned transport route for the barrels of tannin, allow me to confirm the official itinerary supported by the guild still goes through the lands belonging to Count de Salvares. The board sees no reason to deviate from our traditional path. The Count has pledged to cover all eventual damage caused by the Great White Terror. So even in the case of the destruction of the entire cargo, the guild will suffer no monetary losses. Oh, what a bunch of jerks. So they are just going to keep sending it, sending the same people. No, not the same people, but they're going to keep sending their people down here. Even know that they could be killed, and they're gonna lose, and they could lose their entire cargo, and they don't care because it's gonna be paid for by this that guy over there. Jeez, I feel like I should kill them more than I should feel, kill the basilisk. They don't want to deviate their route just because of uh, whatever. All right, let's keep following the scent and see where it goes. Here's something. But it's no basilisk screech. Human voices? Alright, I guess there's some people out here. Right on this hill. Yep. Who are these guys? Oh. Crinford Reavers. Yeah, I know you guys. Yamo, Harry, prepare the equipment. Beast wandered off somewheres. We got to lure it back. And who might you be? Funny, about to ask you the same. They call us the Reavers. Reavers? Wouldn't happen to hail from Crinfrid, would you? Aye, we do. But how's it you know? And again, who the hell are you? Yeah, we. I know some of your friends. Geralt of Rivia. I'm a witcher. Know your brethren in arms. Bohold, Kennet and Desbrit. New boy, too. Ah, you're that witcher. Aye, Bohold mentioned you. Said you swing a mean sword. A professional. Good, you came along. Could take on the brute together. Talk is the venom something horrifying. Could use another pair of hands. Fee what we've gotten from the guild. We'll share it fair and square. 
You in? Gentlemen, this hurts my ears and pains my heart. You aim to kill your cast? It cannot be. The creature is protected. If you fear to lose the guild's reward, I shall repay it and reward you doubly to leave the beast be. You cannot slay the last living specimen of a near-extinct subspecies? Willing to pay, are you? Long as we do nothing? That's rather novel. What say you to that, Master? Far as I know, beasts culled the human race by five already. Uh, yeah, let's, let's let it live. I would like to see it, though, if possible. Basilisk lives for now. We're not gonna kill it. A witcher defending a beast. Ever seen that, lads? You like them peaches? Ah, No scrapping with filth today, it seems. But, but, you made some mention of coin, as I recall. I did indeed. And the word once given... Jeez, how much money this guy's got? He's got to be loaded. He's paying off anyone who gets killed by the basilisk. Now he's paying these guys. Your share, witcher. And he gave me some. <laughs> Easiest job I've ever 350 done. crowns, God that's just my share. So he like gave them like two grand or something. Godspeed, boys. You spared your cust. I thank you. And be assured, I'll take great care she not dine on any other souls. Yeah, all right. I don't know how you're going to figure that out. Way to keep folk out of this area. That I shall do. Master, you must accept more. Be it a symbolic sum. Had you not come along, the reefers would surely have slain my Yokast. All right. I mean, if, if you, someone wants to give you a gift, that's kind of rude to not accept it. So yeah, I'll take more money, even though I'm freaking loaded. Thanks. Yokast has flown her nest. Must have sensed a threat. Likely to return eventually, though. She'll return. Always does. I suspect I might even know where she's gone. I tracked her away and believe she might have found a new mate. It's an ordinary basilisk, not a silvery one. But something might come of it. Who knows? Your cast could lay new eggs. Perhaps produce an entirely new crossbreed. <laughs> sure, I hope not. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> okay. That's a little, little mutual of Beauclair's Wild Kingdom. Yeah, I remember picking that one up and never like looking into it. All right, well that was a strange little mission. And there's her nest, but you can't really interact with it. There's some raw meat around, but nothing in the nest. All right, well I've come across this cave that's pretty close to where the basilisk nest is. Um, Let's see, make sure I get to wait. I still have one more one more problem to deal with, with for the Coronado Vineyards over there. So the cave is not part of the problem. It's a monster's den, technically. I, while I'm here, though, I might check it out. I mean, why not, right? The Pits of Broom. It's kind of dark in here. Might as well take a cat's eye so we can see and drive that toxicity up even more. So it'll do more damage if we fight anything with the euphoria. Whoa. Sounds like a, uh, what you call him? A uh, giant uh, centipede. Oh, it's an archospore. Yeah, we might as well take the archospore out while we're here. Let's just get some insectoid oil on here. Or cursed oil, excuse me. Alright, we're doing pretty good against this Archospore, just one of them in here. So, a couple more hits should do it, ouch. There we go, there we go. One dead Archospore. When you're fighting the Archospores, always have your Golden Oriole going, because uh, when it spits at you, it heals you. And being healed by your monster friend is a good thing. Let's see what's in here. That is the way I came goes back to where I was some shrooms we got some oh yes dead archaeospore parts there's a tunnel in here it goes up to the top here 
Um, okay. Let's go back down into the room. Blood moss. Some more mushrooms. Oh, there's something shiny over here. Something shiny. Oh. Witcher gear. Grandmaster Witcher gear. Alexander's journal. Burned all my bridges. No returning possible. Not after I committed murder and took these Grandmaster diagrams. Probably already on my tail. Hope to finish the deal quick and start a new life in the south. My time as a witcher is over. Can't trust Delaunay, especially since he insisted we meet in a bandit's den. Hid the diagrams in a cave which no ordinary man will be able to enter. If everything goes smooth, I'll collect my coin, tell him the cash is in the pits of broom, and then offer to escort him there for an additional fee. If it doesn't go smooth and someone finds these notes, know this. It was worth it. Worth killing my own, worth stealing, worth any to do anything to escape from a miserable life on the path. So this was definitely a disgruntled witcher. Sounds like he was pretty much sick of everything. Alright, so that's some of the feline Grandmaster gear. Every witcher's felt it. The urge to drop it all and ride off into the sunset. This one decided to act on the urge. The costs be damned. No one lives there anymore. Might still find some clues though. Yep, so the rest of the gear must be in another location. I'll probably make some of this gear because I have so much money and I have all those trophy uh, ah, those stands in my house. Who's this? A dead person? Oh, she's flagged in red. Love letter. Love letter signed by Bella. Whoa, and she's... Wow. She has got a lot of loot. How could she even walk with all that freaking loot on her? My cherished friend... Gustav, I yearn to thank you for our last rendezvous. At the very thought of another, I burst with rapturous joy. Can you believe two people previously unknown to one another could become so close so quickly? You asked if there was anything I prized most dearly. Well, Gustav, I have always had a fondness for flowers. My tragically deceased fiancé would gather them for me in the pits of broom. I'd be lying if I said I had ever seen blooms more fair. Ah, the very thought that you, too, would go to such lengths and pick me a bouquet with your own strong hands, it makes my heart skip a beat. If you were to bring me those blossoms, it would prove you truly love me. Yours forever, Bella de Guns. Well, that didn't work out too good, did it, Gustav? Oh, and there's a chest over here. Or a box or something. So, yes, let's get out of here and... We're going to uh, continue on the way to hopefully get that last problem that's, that's uh, facing the vineyard here. Where the hell are we? <laughs> Is this the exit? That's the exit. And I still got my cat's... The cat potion is still in effect. Um, let's see. How much... Yeah, I'm just going to wait until day and start it fresh. Get everything all topped off. And then we'll just get on out of here and head for the new location. And hopefully there's no more stuff in the way that's going to keep us from uh, getting there. This is a pretty packed area with uh, monster dens and silver basilisks. All right, let's get out of here. All right, I think we're getting to the last location here. It looked pretty close on the map last time I checked. New marker, entrance. And it looks like a cave. And we're going to have to drop in there, it looks like. And I think... I'm guessing that's where we need to go. In the cave to finish this part of the quest off, I guess. I don't know. Let's try it anyway. See what's in here. Looks like we can get back out if we need to. There's a... There's a big trench. And then there's a... Looks like I can jump over to there. Person in distress. Oh, bandit, ouch, bandit with a bow and arrow. 
Let me just get, Show me what you got. get my uh, stuff in order here. Ouch, bastard. I had the wrong sword. Let me make sure I get my uh, hangman's venom going. And then let's go in there and kill that bandit. Also, we might as well do our uh, decoction. All right, you dumb bandit. Oh, there's more of them. There's three of them. Okay. And there's a person in distress. Let's just get in there and get some whirl going on. Maybe we can poison them. Yep. We poisoned them. At least two of them. Maybe all of them. Ooh, watch out. Alright, do a little more damage. I'll do another whirl if I can get my stamina built back up. One of them's almost dead. Oops. Alright, that one's dead. Now I'm spinning in the fire. Never a good never a good strategy. That one's just about dead. And yes, we should finish this one off. No problem. Let's go talk to her. Thank you, noble knight. I'd ventured north in search of herbs for a new flavored wine. When suddenly... Calm down, it's over. The bank titlers kidnapped me. In hopes of collecting a ransom, I'm sure. But with Master Liam's troubles, he never could have paid them. Ah, but I'm free and safe, thanks to you. <laughs> Should you need any herbs, I've a hearty stock at the Coronata. Will you work me there? Absolutely. Lead the way, right behind you. I'm totally going to come back here, though, right after and, and check this place more thoroughly. But I'm definitely going to walk her back to her, uh, the vineyard. Here we are. Once again, I thank you for the rescue. Wish to look over my stock? Might as well while we're here. Maybe there's something stuff I can uh, sell you. But first, Master tell me about the vineyard. Liam doesn't seem a diligent proprietor. He tries as best he can. It's not his fault our vineyard suffered plague upon plague. Plagues? What kind? Well, the enormous yellow man-eating sun juice, for instance. You cannot set foot into the brush for fear of coming out ahead shorter. Yeah, I saw them, and there was a lot of them, it's true. Show me what you got. She has, she does sell the potion of clearance, which is always useful. Other than that, it's just regular alchemical stuff. Thanks. See you later. Okay, so now let's head back to the cave. Ooh! I forgot I have my cat potion going, <laughs> and it's so washed out here in, in uh... Tucson, I can't see anything. Let's go back to that cave and search it more thoroughly. See if there's anything else there. Loot the bandits that I killed. And maybe this, there was another part of the cave that I hadn't gone into yet. Um, I'm probably just going to skip there because look how tough it is to see anything. <laughs> Alright, we've made it back to the cave and the cat potion is worn off. I'm taking a very circuitous route to get down in here. And hopefully I don't die. Nope, we made it. Alright, so we're going down there. Alright. Oh, there's something shiny here. Let's get my torch out so we can see. Some blood moss. That's the exit. That's how we get back up. Okay, so there's some mushrooms and some supplies down here oh no this is the uh oh this is where uh she was i came in through a different ex entrance dirtied letter i'll be short and to the point you're to grab liam's herbalist and keep him from finishing production of that wine leave the girl alone until i send more orders don't mess this up you bum brain beetroot signed v all right this that's just more evidence that that liam is being uh sabotaged Let's see, let's get all this loot. Let's see if there's any more clues. Whoa, lots of good loot. Lots of good loot. Something written on the wall there. Doesn't make sense to me though. Looks like we got everything here. Oh, there is this barrel here. Very good. 
So then there was one little part of the cave down here I hadn't gone in yet. It was like a little trench. A little trench down here. Let's go check that out. Feels like we'll be able to jump out of there, no problem. There's some blood moss and that's some mushrooms and that's it, huh? Alright. Can we jump out? Yes, we can. Alright, well that's it for the vignette, the, the Coronada vineyard problems. And if we wanted to, it's according to the quest, we could turn the mission in now. But I definitely want to go check out the other vineyard. Uh, Vermentino, I think the name of it is. So that's what we'll do next episode, is go to the Vermentino vineyard and see if we can solve all or most of their problems in one episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Catch you later. Bye-bye.